rivers when we were fishing. What's up new people? Welcome back to Carp's R Mark 1-0. You're joining me for the first instalment of a new two-part special and what turned out to be the most amazing fishing trip of my life so far. Back in September, I was lucky enough to take part in the Invictus Games Endeavour I Can Fish 2023, an endeavour organised by the Invictus Games Foundation and an amazing guy and Dutch veteran Rick Simon, who you'll get to know a little bit more throughout the duration of this video. The ICAM Fish Endeavour was such an amazing experience and it brought WIS veterans from around the globe to take part in a fly fishing programme up in the Austrian mountains, a programme designed to aid their mental health and recovery. I was joined by veterans from Canada, the Netherlands, France, Denmark and of course the UK. Now when I got selected for this trip I was absolutely buzzing, building up all kinds of images in my head like a little kid. And Rick kept putting pictures on the WhatsApp group, which made it worse. But nothing could prepare me for what turned out to be one of the most amazing and memorable experiences of my life. Fishing and doing something that I love, meeting amazing new people in one of the most stunning countries that I've ever visited in my life. From the very second that I stepped in at Innsbruck Airport to the second that I left, I was blown away by the amazing snow-topped mountains, the glaciers, the humongous boulderous rivers, and the beautiful, authentic Austrian architecture. And just when you thought you couldn't get any better, Rick could turn around and show us somewhere new. The Arkham fish isn't about who's the best angler and who can catch the biggest fish. It sort of is, but it isn't. It's more about veteran support, getting them out trying new things, and giving them back their confidence and that Arkham kind of attitude. Some of the people on this course may have never fished before, and me personally, I've never fly fished, so it's a great place for me to start. Because of this, the course runs a full crash week, starting with casting, knot tying, watercraft, and eventually giving the veterans the confidence to get out on the bank fishing for themselves. The first morning, seeing us heading up to a football pitch in the mountains for some casting lessons, under the watchful eye of our fishing tutor and Dutch veteran, René. Uh, I'm going to try to give you the basic uh, things that you're going to use within the rivers when we're fishing, because uh, I don't have enough time to teach you properly the old way. Yeah, this, is, this is the fast kind. If my English sucks or you don't understand it, shout. So I'll explain it again. Um, we're going to start with the color roll cast. New people, I always tell them, uh, use numbers. 
uh, numbers build up the cast. In this case, this is one. You pull the line back, tip over the ground. Two is bring it up behind you. Three is speed it slowly up. And the left give it a little push. Thumb is above it, and you push. That means that the line will roll over itself straight out until it lands flat on the grass. Yeah? So this is one, this is two, and this is three. When you're in the water, it will be important that your tip of the rod is close to the water. We're always fishing upstream. That means that when, as soon as the line lands on the water, the water will grab it and bring it towards you. So you have to bring the line closer, keep a straight line to the fish, that when it bites, you can directly move on it to hook it. Yeah? So this is the first practice we're gonna make. One, two, give it a push. Slowly bring it there, just slow, 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 fast, 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 push, and lower the rod. Yeah? There are two lots lying there. There's one here and one over here. And spread out a bit. I will move around um, as straight as possible. Yes. It's okay if you move to see what's happening behind you. Yeah. But the water is important, especially if you're just left down. A bit above the width of the mountain. You start a little bit higher, and the line will roll out easier. One is here. This one is good. Try to keep this as close here as possible. Bring it slowly outside, slowly up to one o'clock, and push. And then try to, um, try to keep it up on it. As soon as you made the stop, then slowly lower it. Some weight behind you, and the weight you need to breathe. If you look at the ridge of the mountain. Yeah. The, 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 the gloves. There's a cloud. Here. Mine goes. Underneath. Okay. And the thumb is the bit where you're trying to push with it. You can grab it a little bit higher, it makes it easier. Yeah. Okay. Try to lock that elbow in your side. Yeah. No part one. Nothing is wrong. Yeah. You're learning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is a tree, and then you push it down. You're really building the numbers. The water sticks to the line, yeah. it grips it uh, a bit, so it's easier to give it an extra momentum. You got kids? Yeah. Yeah. All day? <laughs> I'm trying to strike me. Yeah. How old are they? 7 and 15. Seven and 15. So with the same one with 7, you have a big eye, you're careful, right? Yeah. Yeah. She did uh, this rod like her 7 year old. Breaks it. <laughs> no one. Be gentle with it. Because the work is not in, the, in your force, in your power. You're a big guy, you're a strong guy. In this case, you don't need to put strength. I'm trying, not, I'm trying not to put strength on it. Yeah. It was nice to finally get my hands on a fly rod and learn a little bit of the techniques. But something was telling me it was going to be a lot harder once we hit them rivers. We headed back to the accommodation because we heard Rick wanted to show us a little gem. But first I'm going to tell you a little bit about Rick, because he's not your average Joe. Rick served 10 years with the Dutch Airborne Infantry, conducting operations in places like Kosovo and Iraq, alongside UK and US Special Forces. After leaving the forces, Rick worked in maritime security in the Indian Ocean off the west coast of Africa and Somalia. Rick's also a great angler and was the 2018 Dutch belly boat fishing champion. He now lives in Austria where during the warmer months he's a fishing guide and the winter months he's a skiing guide. So yeah, he really is a great guy, Rick. He's a nice person to just sit and talk to as well whether it's about the military, fishing, life, 
He's a very knowledgeable guy. He's great to learn from. He wanted to take us out onto the rivers and show us some watercraft, some likely spots to look out for fish when we get out on the rivers. He also said it was going to be a nice little gem that he was going to show us. He took us down to the Blue Lagoon, but we also bagged an eyeful more than we bargained for. Ruin your watch. Absolutely beautiful spot that was, and a memory that will hold forever. But believe me, that water was a lot colder than it looked. We headed back to the accommodation to get dried off and for our final lesson of the day, not tying. This is because we have to learn. Yeah. 
All right, this, this is a clipper, yes? This is a clipper. Okay. Yes, 24. So 24 is like a thick line. 24 we use for, for the lake. Because, yeah, for the lake. Okay, we use the scissor as an eye. That's the eye from the fly or the wooden bucket. Yes? That's just a, uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I will demonstrate first. You put it one time through, yeah, like, like this. This is the main line, what's on your rod. You take the end, yeah, you, you hold it here and you turn it four times around, around so it's twisted, yes? You see now at the end of your eye, you see a little uh, here opening, yeah, loop opening loop, you put this one in the loop, through the loop, and you see there's another loop. You put it again through the other loop, you hold that, you pull this, now we pull it a little bit uh, more. Okay. So you pull it, you hold that one, and you see. I'm so glad it's this one we use. Yeah. Because that's a this is important what I do now. So it's red. Okay. Yeah, that one's. Yeah. So you see in that one, two. The dead ones goes here, we want a little bit. Take this. Uh, can you have your line there? Ah, oh, it's broke. <laughs> okay. Just on your, on your finger so you have a loop. And you keep the lines in one hand. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Then you do it. One, two. Yeah, you see, you have a really nice eight. Now you wet it. That's the, and then you just, just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You pull the uh, ends a little bit, yes, and then the other end. Yeah, and then, and now it's, yeah. And if it's good, it's, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's an easy. That's, that's simple. Yeah. This so I use, use is it um, paternoster? Yeah. Two together. And yeah. But listen, if you want to make a paternoster, if like if you go to um, Stubatal, they fish with the nymph. But sometimes they say, okay, you know, we make like a wet fly above. So you have the the nymph on the bottom yeah. and the wet fly here. Okay, so so here's the nymph, and you want the wet fly here. So you you want a line over there. Leave a long, you you leave a long tip no, yeah, 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 yeah. Like this, what you do, you you this is the main line, and you just pull the lines like that. You have a have a loop, yeah. I'm making now a big loop, but uh, because then you do the same, the same what you did that. You have one. Two, only now that was broken with the other one, but now it's not broken. Now you do the same, you, you get an eight, you, and now you can still adjust it because I took too much line, so then it's so, but then I, I steered a little bit, yeah, the eight, I waited. I put it a little bit, I put it a little bit. So, you see, now I have the paternoster. Yeah. What I do, and I can tie my wet fly on it, and it's exactly.
you know it's that's like drop shot you know yeah 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 drop shot yeah. yeah but but you can choose to ha to put your heavy nymph on this one and then the dry, uh, wet fly on this one what you get is this one goes down and you, you yeah, get yeah. this but you you know chris uh, who's there he can explain you but then you know the knot how to make a a, a side knot yeah with all the basics of fly fishing out the way, there was only one thing left to do. Exchange gifts, fuel our bellies, and raise a glass to the week ahead. Mm. All right, I want to thank Mary for the for the drink. Thank you. Uh, thank you. So it was a good day today. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody through through the line. So uh, uh, I'm really hopeful for tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I, I spoke already with Chris, the guide in Stubatal. In the morning, the water is really perfect. Um, after that, you uh, you you catch your fish in the in the pond. Yeah, you grill it, and uh, and he's he's uh, checking out if you could could go all up to the mountain. So that, that would be awesome. Yes, that's. Uh, that makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's uh, guys, cheers. 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 It's something. Something. Good luck tomorrow. Good luck tomorrow. Good luck tomorrow, guys. So day two had arrived, and we all woke up super excited. It was finally time to get out in them great Austrian rivers and try and catch some fish. They split us down into pairs amongst the various angling guides. I got paired with Paul, the Great Dane, who we actually become quite good friends with throughout the duration of this week. We got put with Martin, who works with Austria's version of the Environmental Agency. He took us up to a stretch river up in the Austrian mountains, but first we had to find a way down to it. What's this? What's this for? Oh, oh. Fish. Fish <laughs> yeah! Let's go! Get up here! <laughs> Get your hand in! So you breathe them? these in and put them in? No. No? So why is this? It's just for... Uh, it's like a farm. This is a farm. Oh, it's more farm. Can we maybe take one out and take a picture? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fake. That? Maybe so it's possible there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When you get down in the pool, maybe yeah. that's not so good. No. So we should go over there. Yeah. yeah. And the fish. Scare the fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe to the other side. <laughs> yeah.
Let's hold up. Got it? Yeah. Here we go. Thank you, mate. Lovely. That's a very good start here. Yeah. I'm not sure if we can you just follow or what? Yeah. This looks like a good spot. It does, yeah. I think we're gonna work our way down though, ain't we? Gotta go. Yeah? First catch. So one can start here and one here. Okay, okay we go down. Yeah. So you can try. You want to do left or so? Uh, you can have the trees. Yeah. But you can try like this. Put it there. Again, one, two, and then you go. Okay. One, two, and three. I'll try. <laughs> yeah. And on three, do I let go? Yeah. Yeah. I'll rest a bit slower. No bad, no bad. Yeah. This is very learning. One, two, three. Ah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see it now. Out. I see it. Out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they didn't show us this way yesterday. And can also do it with oh. one hand. So, and then. Okay. Maybe a little bit higher where the, thing, where the stones are. You can go for.
<laughs> In the beginning things started out a little tricky with the trees overhead, big boulders and wet rocks underneath my feet. After a few failed attempts I was able to settle into the environment and just focus on the technique. And although it wasn't perfect, I was getting some kind of line lay. However, it wasn't enough to get me a bite, and something tells me I'd probably spook the fish in this area by now. Yeah. Yeah. Nice place. One last cut. Very rich. Wow, jeez. <laughs> Get it over there. Not a big bite. Nah. Not far over here. Too slow. That's going to be our problem today, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> have to keep a very tight line. Yeah. Because also it bites and it's gone. Yeah. Did you see him? Yeah. Did you see him come up? Yeah. yeah. Two at the time he's on. Yeah. Yep. Oh. So lucky, mate. Eventually, we started hitting into a few fish in what turned out to be a successful morning fishing. We'd had a great time, and I'd also learnt a lot, which is most important to me at this stage. But the time had flown by, and it was time to catch up with the others to see how they'd been getting on.
should get a picture before we go. Well, for my first experience of floor fishing, I couldn't have asked for more. I caught plenty of fish, had a great laugh, and I definitely learnt a lot. But it's totally different to the fishing that I used to. I suppose I've got elements of carp fishing when I'm out stalking, but being stood in that river, being in direct contact with that lawn and that floor, caught up in the moment, looking for your spots, waiting for that take. I can see why it's really good for PTSD and mental health. But anyway, I digress. We headed up to a different stretch of the river to meet up with the rest of the guys and just fished the afternoon out as a group. What an amazing day that was, and a great way to kick off the Our Camp Fisher endeavour. It was nice to just see everybody smiling, catching fish and having some fun. But believe me, the adventure was just beginning. The next day, we were joined by Chris Sue. Now, like Martin, Chris works for Austria's version of the Environmental Agency, which I'm not even going to attempt to say the name of. He manages a local fishing farm at Stubert Isle and controls the fishing stocks up on the rivers. He also runs a fishing school for the local kids. We headed way up into the mountains to one of the highest points in Stubital with Chris to help him release some baby trout into the river as part of his restocking program. Just very thin. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. You can go with the little bit. Yeah. Nice. Take one outside and show it in the camera. Yeah, nice. Good. Giving back to nature, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Good idea.
trout, good trout now. Another one. Very good trout. Did the fish safely released into their new habitats, I attempted to make small talk with the locals. With the fishing being a little slow and the weather starting to change, we headed back down the mountain for lunch. Well, the locals weren't too chatty, were they? But it was nice to give something back to nature. Hopefully some of them trout can go on and produce more babies for them rivers in the future. As the weather started to turn, we headed back down to the fish farm at Stubatal, where Chris said he was going to cook us lunch. He also said we could have a go at catching our own. Although I caught something that wasn't on the menu. <laughs> Give it a hug and a kiss. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, yeah. we'll put him, put him back. And you're gonna ride on top of the car home. <laughs> I came here for trout and a caught car. Yeah. Happy days. Cool. Yeah, good size. Good size. Yes! Nice. Good job. Here's a good one. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's alive. <laughs> C'est une rainbow? Mm, yeah. Salmon? Ouais, ouais, Salmon? Rainbow. rainbow. Oh, how did you do that? Oh, how did you do that? Ben, il va la manger. Mm. Je Red. Vielen Dank, bitte. So it was down to the Great Dane to catch the fish and feed the tribe like the Viking that he is. But we couldn't hang round. We had another table booked. Rick had arranged for us to have a nice meal at a local restaurant, which gave us all the opportunity to sit down, socialise, and just have a chat about how the trip was going so far. Well, believe me, I ate a lot of food that day. Went to bed feeling like an anchor, which wasn't good because the next day was going to be belly boat fishing. I've been looking forward to belly boat fishing since even before getting out to Austria, but nothing could prepare me for the location that we were going to be fishing at. We headed up to a lake up at 1800 metres where my mind was blown. Check this out.
Ja. Een streamertje. Als, ja, maar met een, uh, dat kan ook, hè, een streamertje eronder. En dan, uh, maar deze zinken niet zo snel. Dus ik, wat ik heb gedaan, staat, je staat tot hier. Want anders dan krijgt hij je. Maar als, als ik dan, dat kan ook, hè, deze eronder. Die zwarte. Ja. ja, deze eronder. En dan een nimfje nim, nim, nim erboven. Ja, oké, okay, dat hij een beetje naar beneden haalt. Ja, precies. En dan gewoon rustig laten zakken en dan heel langzaam. Uh... Ja? ja? Dan ga ik er nog even doen. Did you see the boat is really safe? No, ja. normally we do the. En hij doet do... even. Uh, uh, ja. Oké. Okay. Ja. Uh, uh, like that. Okay. Yes, you don't have. Because look. No, no, just. Oké. Ja. Oké. Okay. I can even climb also on it, you know? Like, and it's. Not doing nothing. <laughs> you see? This is. No, no, here, look. Yeah, yeah, you I don't see. Yeah. You see, it's. Okay. This is right, really stable. Okay. So, if, if you move and you put this one a little bit up and you press this one, so then. That's all? Yeah. Like that? Like that? And now the other foot in. Yeah, you see, you will turn. Oh, hey. Yes. And uh, just turn and make a whole turn. No, not with your body, with your foot is enough. Do you see? Yeah. Yes. I put this on. If I turn it, and now I want to stop it, you can turn it, but double tap. Yeah. Double tap. Double tap. <laughs> yeah, double tap. Double tap. Then it stops. Um, with this. Uh, what's what's easy because throwing is a bit difficult yeah. with this. Just leave your line out, give it some line, yeah. and then really Just slowly trot back. Yes. So uh, yeah, and if you have a bite, try to remember pop up out, turn it out, yeah. and then or if you leave it on, keep your back. But sometimes you know you go turn. So if it's okay. out, and keep an eye on that your line is not. Okay. So yeah. Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. You think. Okay, go to a little bit to open water. Just uh, get to uh, know a little bit. Yeah, lift one foot. Then, yeah, if you push it, you will see now it goes already a little bit like that. Yeah. If you do the other one, turn it on. Now you have some speed, more speed, and then you can just. Yes, and then if you are with your back against the. Uh, Then you have the best control. Yeah, just yeah, 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 yeah. Just put a bit more speed. <laughs> yeah. You see, you you already turn a little bit. And now, and then with your back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. And now both feet in and relax like. Yeah. And then now throw your line out just and uh, like a meter of five, six or ten. But uh, don't go too fast because your nymph has, has to be deeper. So if you go really slowly. Hey! Oh! <laughs> Check this out. Just casually strolling around in my belly boat in the middle of the Austrian mountains. Don't get much better than this.
No net. I got a net. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Very fast. You want the net that you can pull it towards you? Yeah, I'll take the net, eh? Thank you, mate. Lovely jubbly. It's my biggest one so far. Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready for the picture? I think I just got it on video. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I've still got the GoPro going anyway. Oh, okay, that's good. I should have it on there. Wow. Thank you, mate. Good job. Watch out for the. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep. you asked me to film. <laughs> Get Renault's net for me, please. Get Renault's net, yeah. Good job. Hey. Okay. <laughs> did you film that? Good stuff. <sighs> this is fun, isn't it? I want my net back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to sort this rod out.
Yeah. Oh, wouldn't you rub, Remy? Wouldn't you rub? Get your fly out, I think. Gave you a fight, I'm still here, so not done. He's still not done, no. This fly's come off. That was on the um... streamer. Willy Bugger, isn't it? Yeah, that yeah, yeah. could be. Uh... Filming, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Film is still gone. Alright, that's out. Alright, ready? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, got it. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody should have a net really, shouldn't they? Yeah. It'd be easier. All be the same size, huh? Yeah, yeah. Now you're catching more fish than the rest of all. I'll leave the net with you. Just don't drop it in the water. Okay. I don't want to be very sad. Yeah, <laughs> I understand. I have another week of fishing. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm without. I'm pushing over a little bit off the side. You got it? Yep. You can do a little picture. Sure. Yeah. Yep.
I continued to catch rainbow trout for the next hour or so in what turned out to be the most amazing fishing experience of my life so far, and definitely another memory that will hold forever. But eventually I had to go back to shore. Due to the veteran to boat ratio, it was time to give somebody else a go. But that was fine, because I got to film this next scene for you. And it really was a pleasure. Two veterans from two different nations, caught up in the moment, fishing, carefree. For me, it's the pinnacle of tackling PTSD with angling. It's exactly what Mike One Zero is about, it's exactly what Rick's about, and it's exactly what the Icam Fish Endeavour is about. Here's Rick and Mary Eve. Big So yeah, it really was a pleasure to sit and watch and film that scene. I'm glad I got to capture that moment for them. But after all this fun and excitement, we needed to refuel our bellies. 
wedded up to Helmut's fish bar, which sits at the side of the lake at the foot of the mountain, where we ate, you guessed it, trout. And we also got to try a very unique kind of schnapps. Did you get Robert? That's right there. Uh, yes. yeah. Nicole? I don't drink, no. but thank you. But oh. that's okay. You know that's a good this you can nip it. is made by himself. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, everyone has one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> this one he made by himself. Good. This is a really good one. <laughs> what what ingredients? It's from? Uh, yeah, it's from this, yeah. yeah. From this ah. fruit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is it yeah. 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 Uh, Does it taste like gin? <laughs> no, no, no. It's it, yeah. 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 You must put it up yeah. from the Juli, August, they are, are green, yeah? And then the, in, the, in the winter time they are the nut string, yes? Yeah? Okay. You can buy it and then the, the inside is a nut. Mm -hmm. This schnapps is from this. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, you have yeah. to smell it. <laughs> yeah, you must. And then in the oh. inside. <laughs> 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 All right, yes. 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 I have to make you shoot as well. Wow, what a day, right? I literally cannot wait to get back up to that lake next year. But sadly, that brings us to the end of part one of the Arkham Fish Endeavour. I know, I know, it's been fun. But don't worry, because you can join us soon for part two, where in true Victor style, we head out for a nation's fishing match and things start to get a little bit choppy. We take a trip up to 3,200 metres to visit the ice glacier and me, Rick and Paul all head out onto the river for one last time. So yeah, unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. But thank you all for watching. Hopefully we'll see you all soon. And for now, it's Mark 1-0 out.